So in this segment we're going to be discussing Liz Truss being trolled to absolute perfection and storming off like an absolute snowflake. wild for a former prime minister of the uk to kind of get involved in another country's politics but you know she's a loose cannon You know, whoever has timed this has done it really well because they timed it as she said that line. I think I think she's trying to say she thinks Trump will win, which I I don't think he'll win, especially against um, Kamala Harris. But it's a bit, you know. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't think former leaders should get involved in another country's politics. She's making money off the uh, speech circuit. To be fair, her outfit does match the lettuce as well, in my opinion. And so, you know, really, this should never have happened. Like, she's a former prime minister. She should have some sort of security with her. Maybe I don't know. Former presidents do of the United States, but the fact that someone managed to get into this building and put this banner up there is a bit weird, I'd say, from a security perspective, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> she sounds like a toddler. That's not funny. It sounds like she just got punked. You know, she's having such a meltdown, she refuses to give her constituency work over um, to the new Labour MP of that area. So with that MP saying, uh, quote, nothing has been handed over to me. I have had residents forward previous emails independently, but that's them being diligent. There's been nothing from Truss's team, he said. So her team has either completed everything, which I don't believe, or they've closed all the cases. They might as well have been doing stuff in the immediate, they might have been doing stuff in the immediate aftermath of the election, but you'd expect them to hand it over by now. And it's very possible that, you know, this is a data breach, as this article kind of mentions. So she's such a snowflake, she's refusing to acknowledge the fact that she lost her seat as an MP, which I think if you did watch uh, some of the, um, you know, when, the day she lost it, she looked completely out of it. Um, you know, there's more, you know, the, the dude who who put the banner up, he got arrested. Um, hopefully he doesn't go to jail, he just gets a fine or whatever, but, you know, it's always risky business doing stuff like this, causing any kind of disruption, because the police can arrest you. I, you know, I don't think there should ever should be an arrestable offence. There's nothing offensive on there, um, to be honest. And, you know, this trust is such a snowflake that she um, cancelled um, a member of the civil service who was going to address the Ministry of Justice, um, but that person was uh, rescinded sorry kevin devlin i don't think was a member of the civil service was meant to address the ministry of justice staff and it was rescinded from the government due to her social media accounts kate devlin even not kevin De devlin kate devlin was had her ha, ha, you know what was the what was the point i don't get it like you know oh no they tweeted mean things about the government even though her her tenure as prime minister has probably been the worst she might be the worst to ever do it I can't think of a prime minister that's worse than her. I'll be honest. You know, the, the only policy I can think of that was this bad is probably Suez and like a German appeasement. Like she tanked the economy badly to the point where she had to get rid of Kwasi Kwarteng, the guy she brought in so he could be different. And she had to bring in boring old austerity boy Jeremy Hunt. Um, she was a complete failure in government. She's been a complete failure um, kind of being a representative of the UK in the sense of she's a former prime minister you think she'd have some sort of common sense or you know the, the desire not to get super involved into politics anyone hiring her on the speech circuit is a complete bozo and they're wasting their money it's tragic that you know because she's a former prime minister she has some sort of status um, but I'm glad I'm glad that you know she's still being trolled she deserves it 100% not, not to be harassed don't harass people but, you know, trolling like this, I've got nothing against it, honestly. Um, especially given the damage he did. You know, no amount of trolling will ever 
amount to anywhere near the damage she did in that in, in her tenure as prime minister she should never have been given that role but anyway so i'm gonna leave it there let me know what you think in the comments below like comment share subscribe support the channel on patreon if you can and hopefully i'll see you in the next one